Hello everyone, I'm Deborah from Deborah Dell's Craft Room. Tonight we're going to be painting Dracula on this big bottle gourd. I know I've seen bigger bottle gourds than this, but this is pretty big. I hope you enjoy the video. These are the paints that we'll be using for this project. They are Americana Acrylic Paints by DecoArt. We have in the Dazzling Metallics, we have Emperor's Gold, Toffee, Santa Red, Red Iron Oxide, Light Buttermilk, Lamp Black, and Graphite. We'll also be varnishing the gourd with DuraClear Gloss Varnish when the paint is completely dry. As always, we want to find the best side of the gourd to start this. I, I started the little widow's peak that Dracula has just to make sure that when I was on camera I got center. So first thing we do is we draw Dracula's hair. We start with the widow's peak It looks like the starting of a penguin that you see sometimes on the internet. I've also painted some penguins with a start too. Okay, next thing we do is draw a line around the neck. This is going to be the top of his cape. Okay, and now I'm going to do his high collar, the top of his cape collar. You'll probably notice that I do a lot of extra lines because I don't really know what it's going to look like until the line is on there and then I have to change it sometimes. And the paint covers the graphite from the pencil pretty well, so, okay. Now we're going to go over like this, let me see, yeah. You see how that looks up on his face like that? Okay. Okay, now we're going to go all the way around. See how I'm doing that? Yes. Meet it in the back. If it doesn't meet, fix it. There's Dracula's collar and his hairline. Okay, now I might bring I might bring this out a little bit more because I don't think it's right. I'm looking at another Dracula that I painted and I'm seeing that his collar is not not the same. The Dracula I drew before was only this big, so okay, there. I brought it in more. Okay. From the center point underneath his underneath his widow's peak, widower's peak, it's right there. We're going to we're going to draw the rest of his cape. Can you see how that's looking now? That 
that's this cape. And what I'm going to do for this cape is I'm going to make it look like bat wings, the scallop, all the way around the bottom. I'm going to start in the back. See that? And I'm going to do another. I might make this a longer cape in a minute, but that won't be hard to do. Okay, now another, I think. The hardest thing to do on these designs is draw them. You check the other side to get an idea if they're the same length. these out a little bit. Okay, there we go. I'll remember which ones are the the lines that we want to use and the ones that we don't want to use when I start painting. And all the paint is going to cover these lines because it's graphite and black that we're going to use. Okay. All right, I'm going to drop these points a little bit by just extending the points. And I might drop these lines too, so that the cape is a little longer. You'll be able to see how this cape looks a lot better when you when you uh, see it painted. Hopefully, you'll watch the video before you start painting. Okay, now in the front here, we're going to put a uh, collar, a white collar. I'll, rem I'll uh, be saying all this again while I'm painting. But a little V, try to get in the center. There's a, there it is, a white collar. And then here, this is going to be a red vest. This might be a little low, I'll check in a second. Yep, yeah, it's a little low. And I'm also going to put some points on this.
sorry. You see that? The rest is his, are his pants. So we can start painting now. I might adjust the face just a little. No, nope. looks okay. Okay. First thing that I'm going to paint is the toffee color on the face. Okay. That's what his face looks like when you clean up some of those lines that I made while I was drawing. Next, we're gonna paint the hair using graphite. I'm using my number three round so that I get the points nice and sharp. And then we can switch to a flat brush as soon as the points are all done. I got the points done. And next we're going to paint the whole head down to the collar with a uh, number eight flat. Okay, I put two coats on the uh, hair. I have a little touching up to do because I brought the face in a little more than I had drawn because it just looked too big once the hair was on. Now we're gonna paint the pants with graphite. Okay, the graphite is all on and second coated and nearly dry, almost dry. So now we're going to do the shirt and the vest. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to paint the vest and the shirt, the little part of the shirt that's showing, light buttermilk. The shirt is going to remain white, but the vest is going to be red, and this white underneath the red will make the red pop. Okay, I've painted the vest with two coats of light buttermilk, and if you see closely, you can see that the shirt has been painted three coats. It's a little bit more solid. We're going to let this dry and then paint the red. I drew the line back in for the shirt and now I'm going to paint the vest red. This red is called Santa Red. That's coat one. You'll need probably three coats to get this solid. Okay. The vest is painted. It took three coats to get it solid. So the next thing I'm going to do is paint the cape. I made the lines from the collar come down to the edge of the of the shirt on both sides. Don't make it any wider at the top, just at the bottom. And now with my number three round, I'm going to paint in the corners and then switch my brush to paint the rest of it.
Okay, just a peek. Here we go. I painted all the points with the number three round. Any place you have to turn a corner is a number eight flat to finish painting the cape. Okay, the cape is painted. I don't think it needs a second coat, but after it dries, I'm gonna to check to see if any of the gourd is peeking through the paint anywhere. So I'm gonna let this dry. Everything is ready now to start detailing. The gourd is dry, and we're gonna start doing some shading with a number six flat. Should shade around the face with red iron oxide. Don't worry about going up into the hair because we can touch that up. Okay, we've shaded all around the face. The next thing I'm going to do is do a little bit of line work because we want the vest to have buttons on it and I'm going to draw it right now. You have the line go past a little bit. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. And then do it on both the bottom and the top, going in the same direction. And then draw a straight line down. This is the overlap of his vest. You can see that? With your liner brush. Get some water on it, thin out the black paint so that it's like ink, and we're going to line the vest. We're going to start up here at the top of the, top of the shirt. bottom you don't need to line on the black of course so you just put a little line there and then following your line that you drew in do that Now we're going to need to line the other side of the shirt where the red hits it. There we go. There's not much lining to this project, which I like. Okay, now line across the neck of the shirt. Okay, now with black, we're going to shade the vest. Get your brush wet, touch it down on your napkin to pull the excess water out, and get a little dab of black paint on, and shade.
because this gourd is so big and the red area is so big, we're going to put little pockets, just a little long, thin indication of a pocket. If this was a small bottle gourd, we wouldn't do this. See those two pockets on there? We're going to line them with black and then shade them. I have a number two flat here that I'm going to shade these with. Okay. I'm going to shade along the top and then underneath. Okay, they're shaded. I went around the ends too. With the flat end of a paintbrush, we're gonna put some buttons down the front of this vest with emperor's gold. I just drew some eyes on. They're kind of close together and down low because there's not going to be a nose on this uh, Dracula. Being careful not to uh, damage those buttons. Paint the eyes black. Okay, we've got the two eyes painted black. Now we're gonna put some white up on them. So they're looking straight ahead, so. Now I'm gonna try something. This is optional for, for you. If you don't wanna do it, don't worry about it. I'm gonna put some pinstripes on the vest. They're going to make a uh, angled design. Don't go into the buttons. That's why I put the buttons on before I did this. This white paint is watered down quite a bit so that it flows pretty easily onto the onto the red. Try to keep the lines parallel. Okay. Now 
Now we're going to do the other side. Okay. Now I'm going to cross hatch them the other way and I'm going to try to keep them perpendicular. Okay, I got one side done. I think it looks all right. Now I'll get to do the other. Okay, phew. Now on the pockets, I'm going to put some stripes, just vertical stripes. If you don't feel experienced enough, you don't have to do this. Okay, I'm going to put another line in the, sh the white shirt. Right in the center. From the center here. To the point. Mine's a little crooked, but that's okay. We'll live. Okay, there's some yeah. buttons there. Not sure I like them, but we're leaving them there anyway. We'll finish up the eyes. Put another coat of the white on. While the eyes are drying, I'm gonna I'm gonna line in the mouth. Put the smile lines on. Okay, you fill in the mouth, but don't make it too big. Make it small like that. Now I'm going to finish the eyes. Okay. Now, of course, we have to put on some eyebrows and some eyelashes. He's a pretty happy Dracula. Must be he got lots of sleep today. are his eyelashes and eyebrows. Now we're going to do a couple of lines up in his hair with the white, with the light buttermilk I mean. Put one line Another line over on the side. Like that. And one more here. I think I will make the middle one a little longer. There we go. Okay. That's his hair. He's graying a little bit. Now we're going to put a dip dot of white in his eyes. Okay. Then we're going to paint some teeth. Okay. Dracula teeth. Okay, I'm going to draw a bow for his, uh, his cape. 
I don't want to just paint it on because I'm afraid I'm going to goof it up. I don't really like that bow, but it's it's okay. It's all right. I probably should have put it in without the buttons. So if you're going to put a bow, don't put those buttons in there. One thing left that I didn't do, I need to line the hair in the front. It's better to do this earlier so you don't have to touch up the shading. I'm also going to line the teeth. If you don't want to line the teeth, you don't have to. Okay. I think our Dracula is done. We do a 360. So there you go. A cute little smiley Dracula. Ready to adorn your mantle this Halloween. Thank you very much for watching my video of Dracula painted on a large bottle gourd. Please subscribe to my channel and click on the bell so that you're notified of future videos.